Okay, what does this do? Whoa! Okay, looks like we have a new add-on for the legendary mod Valkyrian Skies. And with this, I made something spectacular. But, before I get there, I need to show you how I came up with this in the first place. This new add-on adds something known as the Tool Gun. And by pressing tab, we can see a whole, whole host of new things. Which reminds me of something else. Now this is the connection constraint, which allows you to connect two ships together. And by pressing Z, we can undo our change. The rope constraint is exactly what you think it is. It's a, um, a rope. And it's probably one of my favorite of the bunch. Now this one's a little complex, but uh, it's the hydraulic constraint. And um, we probably don't need that. At least for what we're building. But before I could create a weapon of mass destruction, I needed to figure out how to create... So after researching trebuchets, I realized I needed something to wind down the rope in order to store the required potential energy to send it flying forward. And with that, I built a little cog, connected it with the physics rope constraint, which is like a rope, but with physics. Now the thing wouldn't budge, so I added a heavy block in the middle to increase its torque. It did move, but uh, it didn't really stick. Uh, I thought about it and realized I needed to make it a little wider for it to gain more traction. But then it slipped, so I made an anti-slip guard. And then it kind of worked, but I decided to build a little thing to pull, thinking a drawbridge would actually be a good test. So I set it down, hooked it up, and it bounced right into action. I tried turning it manually, but it seemed like I didn't have the manpower. So I enlisted the help of something a little more powerful. And it worked like a charm. And no, creative motors are not cheating, alright? <clears throat> the rope even coiled like it was supposed to. I could even wind it back with my own two hands. Or, uh, one hand. I also tried decreasing the width of the rope. And to my surprise, it worked even better than it did before. I mean, look how neatly the rope coils up. And that's one of the three main features done and dusted. But a winch alone won't really do anything, as we're going to need a counterweight to actually generate the potential energy in the first place. In other words, we need the most useful mechanism in human history. As I continued my experiments, I found that there's actually a scale function on the tool gun. But for some reason, it would make it shake like crazy on a bearing. Fortunately, I was able to stabilize it, and it worked pretty good. But I wanted to see what it'd be like if I shrunk it even smaller. And you know what? It worked, it worked, it worked as well, but, but I kind of overestimated its potential. I mean, I even added another slip guard and increased its torque even more, but it just, it just wouldn't pull, man. I even went as far as to make the rope even smaller to see if it could roll around, and it just didn't. In the end, I made it a little bigger, and it worked way better than I expected. Next, I used the schematic function to make a duplicate of it, which by the way, 500 cigarettes is incredibly useful, but I struggled to shimmy it onto the shaft, if you know what I mean. It was kind of like threading a needle, you know? Ah! So I just decided to open the whole thing and just shove it on myself. I wanted to see if the winch could handle the weight of the gold block over the pulley. But as the rope coiled, I realized that the pulley was stuck because the collision box was a little too wide. So I ended up using piston extension poles, which have a much more accurate hitbox in comparison to the shafts. After these changes, I tried it once more, and this time, it worked! Really, really, slowly. Then I remembered gold is the second heaviest block next to netherite. In order to test out these counterweight mechanics, I decided to try and make a simple door using this pulley. And that's exactly what I did. But upon trying it out, it barely moved an inch. So I replaced them with ice, because I thought that maybe it would have less friction to slide up the door. And wouldn't you know what, I was exactly on point. Although this idea did evolve a bit further, this is how I came up with the counterweight system. What? Now it was finally time
time to make the sling, a weapon used by humans for thousands of years. And to start off, of course I used a physics bearing, which is like a mechanical bearing, but uh, you guessed it. What a surprise. With that in mind, I went ahead and tried to build the counterweight. Now I was originally gonna design it a little bit like this, but I soon learned that a double hinge system would be way better after scouring some seven year old reddit posts. Classic. Once I built it, it was finally time to glue it all together. And of course, activate the physics bearings. But the first test already yielded some less than desirable results. So I tried to use some techniques I learned earlier. And you know what? It actually kind of worked. But I decided that it might be better off to not have any friction at all. You know, just in case. Now it was time to finally tie it down. Uh, I was however not expecting this kind of firepower. Wow. And in hindsight, removing the friction altogether was definitely the better move. So I don't know why I decided to replace this with ice. Oh no. But hey, got the job done. Now, for the sling itself, I had a pretty basic picture of what it looked like in my mind. It's just a platform. You know, with some strings attached to it. Maybe some fences for good measure. Yeah. So long, little ice cube. It was nice knowing ya. Haha, <laughs> get it? Let's go. First try, baby. Let's go. Oh. Some fences to keep it in place? And turning on disable collisions? Much better. We finally now had a working trebuchet. And here we go. I couldn't believe my eyes, it worked almost flawlessly. It was as if I built a trebuchet in real life. Just look at how far it launches. I'm not gonna lie, I impressed myself quite a bit. Especially when it comes to how far it went. Now say goodbye little ice cube, because that was the final piece of the puzzle. Which also means we finally get to destroy some things. But before that, I do have to mention I did do a whole bunch of other experiments. But if I showed all of them, we'd be here all day. So, after hours upon hours of meticulous trial and error, I will give to you the one, the only, Trebuchet. With spaced out legs to prevent friction and another right double hinge counterweight to propel the payload forward. Not to mention, of course, the wind up and release system. Powered by a physics based reel which spools the rope together, followed by this shiny little sling with ropes to tune just right for the correct launch velocity. Now that's what I'm talking about. Brother, this guy st Unfortunately, I accidentally recorded the following footage on a very, very bad bitrate. Which I found out after recording for a whole day. Yay! <sighs> Alright, here we go. With this sweet puppy ready to go, it's finally time to do some test shots. And of course, for a test shot, you're going to need some obstacles to hit. So I built what kind of looks like a shack and came up with someone named Gerard. Ah. This is Gerard, alright? I even came up with a backstory where he's some kind of tax evader? I didn't know it yet. But taxes weren't the only thing Gerard liked to dodge. But first, I need to actually get the ball rolling. What? As the trebuchet seemed to suffer from a bit of performance anxiety. Okay, that may be kind of an understatement. So I made a few tweaks to make the launch flow a little better. Yes. And it worked. A little more consistently. Uh, oh, I was Gerardi. just there and hit the tree. Until I finally made it close. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, it's going pretty far. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then go. Get your R, get him. Ah! Curse you! Well, back to the drawing board. Let go. So I kept launching. I kept getting closer. What? And no matter what I did, it just didn't hit the mark. <laughs> and even when it go. did get close, okay, 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 okay. It was right always there. just Activate off target. Too early? No. Oh, 
You would have heard him. It hurt him. And then it happened Go. again. Please, please kill him. Please, please. No! Explosion there. 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 And, and still alive. I think it's fair to say that I was beginning to lose my marbles. <laughs> How curious. I calculated the algorithms perfectly, but it seems to be just off balance. Ah! But nothing could have prepared me for the greatest tragedy of the world. What them is all. this? Huh? Does this even still work? No, the rope's busted. No! Oh. I'll be right back. Begrudgingly, I rebuilt it. And not only did I rebuild it, I rebuilt it in a different mod loader. Just so I could do one thing. <laughs> Hi there! Hope you enjoyed that video. Um, it took a while to make, as evident. But the truth is, I actually started making this video directly after the last one. So, uh, oops. Consider liking and subscribing, and maybe I'll make another one. Hopefully it won't take nine months to make. Haha. <laughs> uh.